Hello, this is um, Thomas Keilig. He's the DSI Telescope Assembly and Science Instrument Manager here at the SOFIA Telescope. Um, could you explain please what we are looking at here? Right now we are looking into the cavity and we are uh, seeing that part of the telescope which is exposed to the stratosphere during observations. You can see the uh, carbon fiber um, uh, framework structure supporting the three mirrors. Underneath this yellow protection cover there is the primary mirror located. From there the infrared photons will be reflected to the secondary mirror which is right underneath that housing on top of this uh, three-legged structure. And from here the beam will be reflected to the tertiary mirror which is located in the center of the primary mirror. And from here uh, it's reflecting into that uh, opening which provides access to the science instrument. And the science instruments are located on the other side on the cabin. Also you have uh, two additional small telescopes mounted on the, the structure of the telescope. These are providing guidance and aiming uh, for the main telescope. They have a much bigger field of view on the sky and are connected to the tracking and control uh, algorithm of the telescope so that uh, these images can be compared with an electronic star map in real time to make sure we are pointing to the right target. And, uh, could you explain about the aerodynamic fairing around the uh, cavity? Yeah, the cavity or the aperture right now, the opening, uh, that is uh, about uh, 3 meters wide and uh, 4 meters long. And uh, to provide a good aerodynamic flow and not causing any turbulence in the shear layer, uh, you can see at the very front uh, this ramp uh, to separate the boundary layer from the aircraft structure. And at the bottom, uh, or at the aft of the aperture structure, you see this uh, lip which prevents turbulences inside the cavity. Uh, if you have turbulence inside, uh, that will excite the telescope also. And uh, the, the pointing and control system has to deal with this aerodynamic excitations. So the aerodynamic design of this opening is uh, what we saw so far really good. We do not expect a lot of uh, excitations by aerodynamic effects in the cavity. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.